Hello, Oz Dusole here with a an, a common issue with dealing with data. And it hurt my heart to see somebody had dealt with this and it took four hours. So what we've got here is we have these names, okay, this contact information, and it goes down to here, okay? And you can imagine this being hundreds or even thousands of contacts. And what we really want is to say, hey, Joe is here. Teen Oak Street would be here. And then his city, state zip, and then his phone number. So we really want something like this. Okay. would like that and here is how we're going to approach this we have to look for patterns and a pattern let's get my pen all right let's get my pen here so i'm gonna start inking all right so the pattern that we have is that there are spaces between all of the entries okay we've got spaces there um and then the spaces do vary okay so um between joe and rhonda we have the two spaces between rhonda and rayanne we have three between Wally and Carl, we have these spaces, All right? So there is some variables going on here that we can deal with. So let's go ahead and look at how to deal with this. And let's erase these. Cool. All right. I'm going to do now is say equals if and because we've noticed that a difference between the between entries and where we're going to grab the name is where there is data here okay where a2 does not equal nothing and where a1 equals nothing that's the and that's what we're looking for the pattern that we're looking for that will grab the names all right if that's true then grab a2 otherwise don't do anything see if it works all right, we've got Joe. Let's drag this down to Tanya. Great. All we have are the names now. Excellent. So now here is where things get a little tricky. All right. Because we want to grab the address now. Okay, let's see if this right here hold on a second oh, equals if two does not equal nothing then offset Okay, so, so we're going to tell the offset to look at C2 and then go down one row, which is one, and then go left two columns, negative two. And if 
there is uh, nothing in C2, then don't do anything. All right, so now we have the address. All right, and so again, let's look at this offset. Offset says, look in C2 and go down one row and then back two columns. All right. And then it's pretty easy from here what we would do is just change some of the references all right let's see um we'd have would go down two rows now and go over three okay that grabs the city state and zip and then we're going to change this again and say go down one two three rows see one two three go down three rows and then go back four columns okay one two three four one two three rows now we've got the phone number all right okay so what happened here there was no phone number to grab for Frank and no phone number to grab for Tanya so that's all right and what we we'll do is then say copy and paste his values to get rid of the formulas so now we have actual data here that we can now sort and let's go to home bold and I'm gonna sort this to get rid of these these uh, empty rows data sort we do have headers and we're gonna sort by name uh, we don't want that let's do this here okay beautiful all right, so now we have a range that we can now sort like it has some sense. Okay. So I don't want to sort that whole. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, cool. So now we only have these people and these two don't have phone numbers and it didn't take us four hours to do. It, it was really easy. We just had to think about the patterns that we saw. And one pattern was that there is at least one space <coughs> between every entry. And it didn't matter to us whether there was one space, five space, 30 spaces, doesn't matter because we saw that pattern. And then we used the offset function to retrieve the data that we wanted. So that's it. I hope you got something from this and send me any questions that you do have. Thanks a lot.